It took Karen Joy Fowler seven years to write Booth. If it took me that long to move my bowels, I'd see a doctor not a publisher. Oh my god, I sincerely hope that she never sees this review. I'm not capable of reviewing this novel without rant. Booth is a historical fiction about the Booth family, a family which includes John Wilkes Booth, the man who shot Abe Lincoln. Lincoln was the president who won the US Civil War, which resulted in the emancipation of the black slaves. And why did I hate this book so much? Where do I start? But let's begin with the one thing that every other reviewer seems to be mentioning. Showing, not telling. This is a book about the US Civil War. It is a book about the emancipation of black slaves in the United States of America. It would be unrealistic not to include some racism and some slavery. But I don't need the author to tell me that racism and slavery are wrong. I don't want to be told what to think. I want the book to portray racism and slavery in such a way that I can't help but to agree that racism and slavery are wrong. And when a white character says something about his brothers in chains and is not referring to black slaves, that speaks for itself. I don't need the author's commentary on it. It's almost like Karen Joy Fowler is worried that we might think that she is a racist for including racism in her novels. And I don't think she's a racist for including racism in her novel. I think she's a racist for writing a book about the emancipation of slaves without including one single black character. In the history of the United States of America, has there ever been an event more important to the black population than emancipation? How does one center white people in that conversation? Instead of having all these author conscious notes that Karen Joy Fowler included in Booth, a single black character would have sufficed to provide the moralistic framework that she wanted. One of the reasons I think Fowler centers white people is that she has clearly done a lot of research. She's read a lot of documents. The documents of that time would have dominantly been written by white people for obvious reasons. But this brings me to my next objection. There's too much information in this book. It's way too info dumpy. This is often a problem with historical fiction. The author does years and years of research and gets excited about things and wants to show you all the wonderful and cool things that they have discovered. They become infinitely more interested in their topic than you are. And lots of the information that they discover are not relevant to the story that they're trying to to tell. Even when Fowler wasn't being info dumpy, even when she was moving the pieces in the background, her writing was dry and factual. This isn't a nicely written book, and to be fair, I don't think it intends to be. It is serviceable prose, which is fine, but serviceable prose requires either good characters or good plot. When two of your characters are John Wilkes Booth and Abraham Lincoln, you know the plot. There is no suspense. However interesting or exciting the plot actually is, we know the ending. There's nothing keeping us reading. We know Booth shoots Lincoln. There is no suspense. We need good characters. And that's the big failing of this novel. John Wilkes Booth is is a monster. And I think that any book that tries to understand a monster's motives and treat them with empathy is really interesting. You can't write a monster if you don't understand them. You can't write a monster if you're judging them. But that's what Fowler is doing. Lincoln is a plot device. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but it makes it all the more important that we understand Booth and we just simply don't. I have no idea why Fowler thinks Booth shot Lincoln. And I think that if asked, she would say something like, he was a monster, he was evil. Well, isn't that just asinine? All of the failings around the poor characterizations of John Wilkes Booth can be explained by the author's note at the end. Which, by the way, is another example of Fowler not trusting her readers. Stifling any ideas or thoughts that might have sprung from her work that she didn't intend to put in there. Fowler says that she was inspired by a school shooting and watching the family of 
a killer and wanting to explore how families would respond to such a monster. That is a brilliant idea for a novel. That is a brilliant premise. And I would love to read a book like that. But if I were writing such a book, I would start with the assassination of Lincoln and then break the novel into two timelines. Events after the assassination, events dealing with the family's fallout and events before the assassination, the build-up showing the relationship that existed prior to the incident. Fowler places the assassination right at the end of the book. There are so few pages dedicated to the fallout of the assassination. We don't get much and what we do get really sums up this book well. It's not complex, it's not shades of grey, it's just black and white. This is the worst book I have read in 2022.